Good. So, uh, first, it was wonderful to see uh, Miklos Peternak and uh, um, also others speaking. Uh, uh, I was uh, really together with Jovita sitting near me. We just use one screen. Uh, we are very happy of this invitation and we are very sorry that we could not join in person because we are installing the show here in Graz. But uh, uh, we try to synthesize some of the things and I think we try first to go to share screen. No? Uh, if we, we will succeed, that will be a little bit easier uh, to... Uh, Hello, uh, select window. Yeah, we will... Presentation. Yes. yes. And, uh, okay, yes. Let's try. Yeah. Are you uh, seeing us? Uh, the, yes. Yeah. Yes, so, we yes, we yes. Okay. Is working? It's working? Is this working? Okay. Perfect. Okay. okay. So we uh, to come uh, to come to this uh, title uh, uh, being in relation to what was the idea this night is, um, uh, and uh, what is this night is? It's uh, a very uh, short uh, presentation of uh, uh, this Metelkova city in Ljubljana that was actually uh, started in 1992 and occupied barracks complex uh, that uh, became a very important independent art and initiative structures. So to come to this point, this was the invitation uh, by Milos and Jakub, and thank you very much for this invitation. Uh, we thought uh, how to actually define this time. And many before, uh, uh, especially Anna, wonderful presentation, but also I could be a little bit polemic, open these uh, questions. So we uh, thought that maybe in ex-Yugoslavia that uh, uh, today it's seen as something very specific uh, that uh, uh, even more is seen uh, like a fake uh, of socialism, uh, we could uh, think uh, uh, for us now uh, of uh, time that in uh, space in three uh, different ways. And actually to think about this uh, through um, utopia and uh, where we connect actually with socialism, I think maybe uh, is in difference with uh, many and especially biopolitics. Then the 90s uh, that we come shortly immediately to that point, actually uh, it's uh, in uh, ex Yugoslavia and of course in Slovenia uh, uh, that is at that point uh, uh, having an independence from 1991 and then 1992 uh, and uh, Metelkova is connected is uh, seen as a heterotopia space of post-socialism and then uh, what I also implied in my comment, it's uh, that so, uh, today in Slovenia, if you want, is not necessary even to go anywhere further, but we can go to Poland, we can go to Czech Republic, we can go to Hungary. I completely agree uh, with uh, Miklos uh, Peternak. You have actually this necropolitical dystopia. Uh, and uh, um, uh, how we come to this uh, socialism, Thank you very much also to Dushan, uh, who uh, uh, showed this unbelievable work that was done and also uh, the archive uh, that was built precisely to think about these periods uh, in a very critical way. Uh, it is that uh, we made... Uh, 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 a research of the 80s, because the 80s are leading us to the 90s, and there uh, came this phenomena that uh, if you think about uh, images that were uh, at the archive, and especially of uh, the very specific movement that is a punk movement, that uh, in difference to many former Eastern European countries was mostly parallel to what was going on in Britain, and Britain produced punk, why? Because there was this fascist regime uh, that uh, uh, also ex emphasized by Tina, but even more uh, by Thatcher, uh, and the punks were uh, screaming um, and uh, uh, telling, uh, we want to stop this fascist regime and everything what is connected with this. Uh, and uh, we went into the research of uh, the punk movement. So it's in 
because we are working for one year in a deep research of that period that uh, shows a lot of uh, utopia and a lot of understanding. So here it's from the 77, already one of the first images of uh, what was going on. But so, that can one, I, can I, yes, uh, the presentation. Okay. okay. Let's try. Okay, let's try no. again. Okay. Okay, we'll try to share again. We don't know why it's not working. But you saw the first image, yeah? We, we, we saw only the first image. Yeah. Let's try it. Entire uh, screen. Entire screen will try like this. And we'll try like this. And like... Is now better? Is moving? We hasn't, haven't. Uh, we doesn't. Okay. So, okay. See now. Do you see now the images? No. Black screen. Okay. Uh, Okay, so how we do it? Uh, we talk and uh, we go back, uh, uh, stop sharing. Are you seeing us? Yes. Yeah. Okay. The, the talk, because the time is passing and maybe what I want to say, it's uh, even, um, it's interesting, maybe the images from the punk movement, uh, uh, you can come to the show that will be the 4th of December uh, in, uh, uh, here in Ljubljana, uh, now we are in Graz, and I want to really make this connection of time. So the uh, what was possible to see uh, and uh, making the special um, in order to make the show, we had to go into a big uh, uh, digging uh, of uh, uh, images uh, from the punk time, and we had to actually construct a, a special uh, kind of uh, um, archive. But uh, uh, what this archive showed to us was an un unbelievable rebellion and power, but also uh, what it's amazing, though it's a critique of the Slovenian society and critique of ex-Yugoslavia. Why? Because we had also uh, workers' protests going on uh, parallel or a little before uh, already uh, by uh, workers in ex-Yugoslavia, we also had a very pro-socialist uh, movement. So that means uh, be believing uh, in this utopia. But what happened afterwards was that uh, uh, practically uh, that space from the 90s on with this complex of uh, the barracks that we have now in the center of Ljubljana and it's called uh, it's called actually Metelkova, uh, that uh, is a place of a squatted center of the city. We came uh, to a situation uh, that uh, um, what also Milos were implying in uh, his uh, uh, text sent to all of us of some contemp temporary zones, but uh, uh, making an analysis, we came to uh, actually develop even as uh, 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 sharing uh, and doing uh, um, the erased people, uh, 30,000 of those who just uh, was expelled from the society, migrants workers from former uh, republics of ex-Yugoslavia. That was not the case, for example, in Slovakia and Czech Republic, uh, where for 30 years and even more, these people practically were really alive but dead. So death in another way, maybe like a social death was really part of our constitution. And maybe I give now the word uh, to Jovita to talk a little bit about what this heterotopia uh, was doing in the 90s. And then I will come uh, to this dystopia as maybe a way to think the time and space. Yeah. Already in the 80s, there were spaces that could be called uh, heterotopia, like uh, Disco Fabe already, and uh, Gallery as well. But in the 90s, especially 
this uh, heter uh, this idea of heterotopic space, which was usually, especially um, Disco Fave was like an underground heterotopic space. And in the 90s, we see these heterotopias coming out. And uh, Foucault, in uh, his uh, 1967 lecture on other spaces, talked about these two forms of other spaces, of exterior spaces, which are in relation to, to the power. And one of them was uh, heterotopia. And he talked about this space that it can represent a space which is capable of juxtaposing several different spaces in a single uh, real space. Um, and it's a kind of a space that um, can make a reflection of a given order within which it is situated and so on. So this um, Metelkova has uh, also a very special place as a kind of a touchstone uh, in uh, um, until, until the outbreak. There was um, practically a military, this uh, building itself has the status of military uh, complex and the army withdrew in 1991 and uh, the place was actually squatted in 1993 precisely. Uh, and a lot of uh, a lot of different initiatives uh, were building uh, a community uh, within these spaces. Um, uh, there was a cultural program, a performative program, music, and so on. But through all these through through all these decades, we actually saw um, concert attacks on these heterotopic spaces, which were formed in which were possible in the nineties and uh, today. Um, practically all these heterotopic spaces were kind of, uh, how say, confiscated or erased or uh, demolished, pogrom uh, pogromed and so on. So the situation of uh, Ljubljana with, uh, with such kind of spaces, uh, it's uh, kind of a non-existence. So. Yeah, but maybe I would like to say, just to come to a conclusion, that uh, uh, going back also to Dushan, uh, uh, presentations uh, that uh, uh, and uh, maybe in, in a way to uh, reevaluate re uh, the archive that uh, uh, it's possible uh, to uh, exhibition uh, and the photography that has a, a specific um, weight of memory of that time but it's not as recent anymore, uh, not something what is possible to be done because it was done. It was actually groups, it was uh, uh, in the field of social and political of socialism, it was uh, 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 possibilities and also it was groups and many other, um, let's say, positions, uh, for example, um, uh, the uh, uh, LGBT uh, a queer eye mon uh, movement uh, uh, came to the surface in 1984 already and was parallel or to what was called at that point in 1984 uh, for already post-punk movement. So um, um, uh, all this um, uh, kind of uh, station or decades uh, came now to um, a point uh, that uh, actually contradict uh, uh, very much, I will say, uh, the quotation by Orban uh, that we are, uh, we were dreaming about uh, some freedom uh, or the West because of the freedom. I don't think so, especially in ex-Yugoslavia. Though, as I said, it's a lot of um, co contradiction. Ex-Yugoslavia is seen as not really a socialist. Uh, we don't know what we talk. Uh, come on, they say you are a tampon zone. But I don't think so. We had socialist structures and people were going to prison. And uh, But it was also uh, different elements uh, of this synthetization of some spaces, some discourses, uh, uh, but also uh, 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 kind of uh, putting yourself in danger in order to uh, re uh, take uh, what uh, was possible to uh, think about the possible future. So punks on the streets uh, in the underground did not, uh, um, uh, they were uh, molested by the police, but still they actually had ideas, these utopias, 
practically uh, if uh, we were preaching something in socialism they said give us these possibilities give us a, a, a society of equality a society uh, that we will be having a public uh, access that we actually had to schools to health and so on these days we don't have so coming now to the moment that we live, uh, this is why I think the necropolitical dystopia is actually contradicting uh, this uh, uh, idea that we are now uh, on the forefront of uh, uh, these dreams. Not at all. I think actually that former Eastern Europe, all of us, because we are, I'm living in Ljubljana, I'm teaching in Vienna, but I'm living all my life in Ljubljana. And uh, I see Ljubljana and Slovenia and ex-Yugoslavia palpably these nationalistic discourses. And I see this in, uh, in Hungary. I see this in Poland. Horrible, horrible things going on with the refugees, with the selections of bodies. Center, as it was before the comment. No, we are doing this because we are not actually reacting. So this inerty, inertia and zombie, I think uh, uh, it's okay to be used for us white in this necropolitics. So why it's important to talk as we are sharing all these uh, um, different uh, archives, different ideas, different preoccupation, because maybe from that, it's possible uh, to think uh, uh, and also to through interpretation, not only just showing materials, but thinking what kind of times we had, what kind of time we live now. And I just give one uh, final um, uh, thought on this. In the time of pandemic, like maybe in other uh, countries, but in Slovenia, we were under Janez Janša, uh, it was such a demolition of any rights, such a seclusion, a segregation. Of course, Slovenia living in state of exception. It was unbelievable that we were known eating a sandwich somewhere in the city alone. So uh, it came out a very interesting movement uh, from specifically these heterotopia spaces, from dead spaces in the 80s, and this was the movement in which uh, um, uh, positions were uh, 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 on the bicycles, because the city of Ljubljana is a city of bicycles. So thousands of us, we were actually protesting because they said, you cannot walk but you can go with your car. So we were using our bicycles and precisely trying to point the finger to this necropolitical dystopia. So uh, biopolitical uh, socialist utopia, post-socialist heterotopia leading to what we defined a turbo uh, capitalist fascist regime that we have all over in ex-Yugoslavia now, and coming to this necropolitical dystopia. This will be our evaluation of these spaces and times, but without resentment. If you go in the archive of punks, you can actually understand listening to the images, because are images. You don't listen to the music. You are listening to the images, as Tina Kampt is saying, and you can uh, understand maybe another... Yeah. it's working. Thank you for the talk. Uh, uh, when it's death, is it possible uh, that we think of resurrection? And in what way? On a state level, on a politics level? Uh, I don't... Yeah. Possibility to, to fix it? Or you see any options for the hegemonic discourse to be cured? Okay, I, I don't believe, uh, to be honest, in any of these theological Christian, uh, uh, let's say, narratives. This is completely uh, uh, out, uh, uh, but uh, uh, I respect uh, uh, this uh, religious fanatism on, of every level. I have not, uh, if this is something that is outside of uh, uh, the uh, system of the social and political. But I think uh, uh, that is important to question. Why? Because if you uh, research, so to, uh, after that pandemic, we found out death. 
So nobody apologized to them. It was an apology when half of the parliament left them. So you can imagine to live without anything. So what happened is if we make comparisons to others, for example, if you make comparisons to Black Lives Matters, not that you can substitute your life because you are white, and Black Lives Matters actually put this racialization very clearly, but you can understand that uh, without resentment, and many uh, are thinking and talking, for example, Afro-pessimism uh, in a philosophical way uh, and in a very um, way of uh, uh, discussing what is possible to, to be done. Uh, it's a, a proposition that maybe our luxury and though inert life, zombie life, where we go to collect our wages and we are shopping day and night, uh, they are, uh, it's also parallel life of poverty, parallel life of uh, LGBT people. What kind of society is this? Where are the protests or this overkill of trans people? I mean, these are serious things. This is not political correctness. It's 30% of the whole world that is homosexual. So what do you do with these people? No, you have actually completely uh, multiracial uh, societies. Take Britain. Uh, it's, uh, and not think about the West that got all the wealth through colonialism and uh, genocidal policy of millions of people. And not to speak about the genocide of Jewish people also in uh, Europe. Europe lost everything, every credential after uh, the Holocaust. Never ever recuperate any credential anymore for me, in our interpretation. So I think it's necessary uh, to, read, uh, to uh, uh, make a move in which actually it's necessary to not to think about resurrections, but it's necessary to think about possibilities of life, of fights, of struggles that are really palpable, of those who are constantly pushed on the fringe. And uh, uh, through that, uh, think if it's possible uh, to, um, uh, to actually re re redone or uh, make, not for us anymore because we are done, but for next future a possibility. A great sentence by a theoretician, um, uh, her name is Jill Cassid, and uh, 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 she uh, commented recently when uh, in, we invited uh, her uh, to come also to Ljubljana, she said uh, in uh, uh, reference to the black thought uh, that is working with art, that is working with archives, that is working with labor, that is working with proprietary relations. These are the new aesthetics of uh, a black artists. Uh, she said, okay, they uh, actually don't want to see anybody else that is not white. Uh, people are completely uh, living in horrible situation, but still, also if they are pushed and made to die, necropolitics is this, they uh, come out as seeds, and these seeds are everywhere. So maybe we have to change the perspective. We have actually to think that certain ideas, certain practices, certain consciousness, as much are more uh, resistant that we can think. We cannot be just uh, um, uh, nice and say, oh, poor. No, maybe we are poor, poor in our way of thinking. And there it's actually a struggle uh, not only for survival, but the struggle for uh, uh, utopia. So maybe after the dystopia is coming another utopia, utopia that is coming from the most uh, um, difficult conditions of life. This will be my answer. Thank, thank you.